Say man, hey man. It's your boy Do It All Holland. We're back with another NBA 2K24 next gen build video. And today I have a special glass cleaning playmaker build for you guys. Now you can make this build a bunch of different ways. It just depends on how you play and who you play with. You can go with a, a taller height than what I have. It's totally up to you. But this build will be able to give you what you need when it comes to a person that can get rebounds and push the ball up the court. Great ball handle, great pass, and great rebound. Let's get into it. Choose the hand of your choice and the jersey number of your choice. Let's get it, man. But before I go any further, you already know what time it is. If you don't know, now you know. It's like button time, and I need you guys to go down there and hit the like button. Get this video to 100 likes, and if you haven't already, hit the link in the description and join the Discord. Hit the link in the description and follow me on Twitch. As you can see, we're going with the power four position now. I did go 6-8 with this build when I first created it, but I went down to 6-7, and I was able to get what I wanted at 6'8 and 6'7, if that makes sense. Because I wanted the strength a little bit higher than what I had at 6'8, and I was able to get it with 6'7. So the weight is going to go up a little bit because it's 6'7, but we're not worried about that. 7'4 on the wingspan, let's get into it. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the finishing now. We're not worried about finishing with this build too tough. I mean, you can actually get your own shot and get to the rim, but with the amount of driving dunk that I'm going to give you, you will be able to dunk. Trust me, I've been testing it out on 6'7 on 6'8 it does not matter you can dunk with a 55 dunk you can even dunk with a 40 okay so if that don't make you want to do it then go ahead and take it up a little bit more totally up to you but i'm just telling you guys i've been testing it out now we are going to take the layup to a 70 you know just to have some good layup just in case you don't dunk but you will dunk with the 55 i promise you you will uh for the standard dunk we're going to get that up to an 85 y'all know how i feel about standard dunk now the post control will go up to a 30 on its own because we're going to come down to the physicals uh, we're going to go ahead and get the speed up we want to get the speed up high enough so we can get our speed booster um our uh, hyperdrive and our chase down high enough okay as far as the acceleration we're going to do a 73 on that because that's all we really need um, as far as the strength, we're going to take that up to a 99. 6 8, I wasn't able to get that 90 strength because I was doing some other things, but we are able to get the 90 strength. So keep in mind, you're a power forward. Now, if you know they throw you at center or something, you got enough strength and enough rebounding to hold your own down there at 6 7. Okay, one of my favorite heights. Now, uh, vertical, we're going to get that up to an 80. Okay, and um, like I said, we're going to have enough to get what we need to get with the uh, physicals, okay? So we're going to come back up. As you can see, we get fast twist. We get rise up. We get uh, area wizard on goal. Um, you can get some good dunk packages. Clay Thompson, you can get CJ McCollum, and you can get Manu Ginobili, and you can get some other dunk packages that will help you dunk. Don't worry about that. Um, the 70 on the layup does give us fearless finisher, so when you get to the rim, if you don't dunk, you'll go into that fearless finisher type animation, okay? But let's go ahead and get to the Green Bay Make Your Girl Scream badge. This build can only get a 77 three-point shot. Now, this is the reason why a lot of people stay away from this build because of this, right? In the mid-range, same thing. You can get it to like a 77, but you can't take it to a 78. It will change the name of the build. So, totally up to you, man, for the people out there that want a rare build. Shout out to my homie Obama. He did make one of these builds, and we actually played with the build, and, and the build did play good. You know, getting rebounds, blocking shots, uh, dunking, all that stuff. He was able to shoot threes with the build, and it had a 77 three-point shot, so it can be done, okay? Now, with the 77, we only get silver catch and shoot. We get um, silver corner specialist, green machine, space creator, spy finder, claymore. Uh, we got guard up in there. We got open look. So, we do have some good badges on this build that will allow us to do what we need to do. As far as the uh, mid-range shot, we have that at a 76. That does give us a uh, mid magician on silver. So, at least you can get that badge on silver. You can go in the mid-range and make you some shots. You can do um, some pull-ups or whatnot in the mid-range. With that, I promise you, it will work, okay? Now, let's go ahead and get it to the south. But before we do, I need you guys to do me a huge favor, right? Go down and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and let the video play to the end because that will push the video to the recommended page so everybody mama can see this video. And I need everybody mama to see this video, so do that for your boy, boy. Now, as far as the pass accuracy, we're going to get that up to 84. Um, you can actually take it to an 80 if you want to. Um, it's still, You still will get the name at an 80, I think. And, um, you know, I just took it to an 84 just to give your passing another dimension, you know, with that silver needle thread, okay? So that's why I did that. As far as the ball handle, we're going to get that to an 85. Now, you can take it to an 81 if you want to. That's totally up to you. Um, it's, it's just a personal preference. You know, I'd rather have an 85 than an 81. Gold anchor breaker is legit, okay? If you haven't used it yet, it is legit. As far as the speed with ball, we're going to do a 75 on that. And as you can see, 
We get silver triple strike, silver hyperdrive, silver speed booster, silver blow by, and we also get killer combos. We get handle for days in there. We got physical handle, hall of fame. Um, you will be able to get your own shot, man. And we do have unpluckable, even though that's one of the badges I don't really like because you still get plucked like a chicken somehow. No matter if you got it on bronze, silver, or gold. Uh, I haven't tested Hall of Fame, of course, but, you know, you probably still get plucked at Hall of Fame. <laughs> but I see a lot of small guards getting plucked with gold unpluckable. But um, that's what we got for the playmaker, man. Like I said, you can take the ball handler down if you want to. It's totally up to you. But let's go ahead and get into the defense. Now, with the defense, you want to keep in mind that this is a rebounding type of build. Okay, so you want to have good rebounding, right? So with the rebound, we took the defensive rebound to a 93 so we can get gold rebound chaser. We got um, gold pogo and we got Hall of Fame box. Hall of Fame box and a 90 strength is a really, really good combination. So you will be able to hold those box outs because a lot of people out there don't have Hall of Fame. Well, I, they, they got Hall of Fame. You know, a lot of people got... Um, um, Hall of Fame and gold, you know what I'm saying? So if you got the strength and you got the badge, which is Hall of Fame box, you can hold those box out, okay? Now we're going to max the offensive rebound now that it's 77. And that does give us uh, some pretty good offensive rebound, and I would like it to be higher, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, uh, when you're 6'7", they just do a fool with the offensive rebound. Man, they take that offensive rebound so low. It don't even make sense. Look how big that gap is. I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? And like I got a huge gap on my uh, my six seven center, and I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? Because the offensive rebound it can't go high enough, in my opinion. You know, given the fact that I am six seven, it, it does kind of put me at a disadvantage on the offensive rebound. But on the defensive rebound, that boy jumping out the gym, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, but as far as the block. We're going to take that block up to an 87. That's the highest we can get it. Uh, we get gold chase down. We get gold pogo. And you will be able to get silver anchor once I take the interior defense up. As you can see, we do get that badge. Uh, we also get post lockdown on this build. And as far as the perimeter defense, now, you can do a 76 perimeter and a 72 steel. That's up to you. Well, it was another way that I did it. You can get it like that. But what I did was I just took the, um, my bad. I took the, um, the perimeter defense to an 87. I would rather you have great perimeter defense than to be trying to worry about some steel. I would rather you be able to hold your own on the pick and roll because you're going to get put in those situations and you can hold your own with this uh, combination right here. Okay, now we got 81 speed, 73 acceleration, 90 strength, 80 vert, and the rest is... Hold on, what did I do wrong? Oh, we got a 75 on the um, free throw. And the rest is on stamina. Now let's get into these shades of are you ready? Because guess what? I do not clickbait. Here we go, here we go, here we go now. We do have shades of Scotty Bourne, Draymond, Antoine Jameson, and the build name is the infamous rare. Glass cleaner playmaker. That's the build I'm out of here, man. Touch!